Okay, well, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya. If you haven't met me yet, welcome. I help women grow and launch successful six plus figure businesses all while living the lifestyle that they love. And this lifestyle I like to call the beautified life. And if you know nothing about what the beautified life is, I actually wrote a book called The Beautified Women's Life Matrix, and it's just down below in the caption. So if you want free access to that, you just register and it comes straight to your inbox. It also comes with a free training. So if any woman is looking to launch and grow a six-figure business all online without the burnout i highly suggest that you watch that free training it's free it doesn't do anything other than provide you some more knowledge of how to get super clear on your vision and mission and to step into the next part of your journey as a businesswoman and entrepreneur but anyways with all that i digress let's get into the topic for today and the topic that i personally love and really came into my heart yesterday when i was actually working out i went to an exercise class and i received a revelation of the one and i actually wrote out something about the one but i've you know kind of bottled it down so that i can really uh, relay this message to you because i know that this message came to me to share with you so i am so excited to be here and the message today is called stepping into your calling as the one chosen by God. So let's get started. This video is specifically for you if you have been asking yourself, what is my divine purpose? How do I know that it's God-given? And, you know, is my mission really something that I was called for? Like if you're asking yourself any of these questions, this message is for you. So today I want to remind you something very powerful. You are the one, the one who was plucked out of the 99 chosen by Jesus. So we already talked about this before and I want to really touch on a scripture. And this scripture is John 15, 16. It says, you did not choose me. I chose you. So all of that being said, God chose you for such a time as this. You are the one that was set apart, called by name and destined for something far greater than you can imagine. So I'm going to give you a personal story. So for me, I always was helping women. I actually only work for women. I only worked for one man my whole life. Uh, so I always helped women grow and launch successful businesses and all aligned with their mission and purpose. So I know for a fact that I was born to do this because it just came through from my heart so naturally, so beautifully. Now, here's the thing though. I was not in the faith. Okay, so I always knew of Jesus. I always knew of God, but I didn't understand who I was in his kingdom, what my position was. So although I was given the spiritual gifts, although I was given the spiritual knowledge of understanding that, you know, inside of me, I had this mission and this purpose of wanting to help women. So I went about that on my own and I did do that um, and I was successful. However, I was being used in the kingdom of darkness. So what do I mean by this? So I was in the new age, I was teaching yoga classes and I was also hosting women's circles. And all of this is idolatry. Uh, so I was using, for example, goddess archetypes to help women tap into their full potential and all of that jazz. Um, and, you know, on the side as well, I was also working, developing businesses with women, but I always had these principles in mind, what I was working with before, which was within the kingdom of darkness. And so it came to a point where I was in full bondage and I realized I am not happy, even though I am making an impact, I am not happy where I am and I need to make a change. I don't know what to do. And I literally just lost my course and I just fell into such deep anxiety and depression about where I was going in my life. And it was June of 2023 where my life changed and I knew that something was about to enter my life. I just didn't know what it was and it was actually the Father's love and blessing in my life. Now in the Bible, it does say that 
in order for us to meet the Father, we must go through someone. And that someone is Jesus. And so just to share with you, after speaking with someone and speaking about the Bible and receiving revelation from the Bible, spiritual manna, spiritual knowledge that was speaking into my situation, I realized, okay, I'm going to take this seriously. So I said a prayer. I said, Father, I am here. Please show me, um, you know, I am sorry. That's what I said first. I am sorry. I am sorry for doing anything that was outside of your will. Um, but I am ready to step back into your will and into your kingdom. And if you allow me to, I would be just so blessed. And in that moment, a car came in front of me because I was driving and the car in front of me, the license plate said forgiven. And so I praise God every day that the Lord came to me. And then in that moment, I exclaimed, I was like, Jesus, you're my Lord and Savior. Thank you so much. I just feel absolutely blessed because I know now that I have been chosen for a purpose for such a time as this so here I am I'm basically giving you this video uh, about being chosen and so if at any point in your life Jesus came to you and chose you that means that you are chosen so if you're asking yourself do I have a divine purpose and mission absolutely you do and now we are going to delve in a little bit deeper about what this means and give you an encouraging word to keep walking the path of faith and truth in your life so being a chosen one you are gonna face impossible challenges um, the world is full of valleys full of distractions full of things that are going to just pull you into different directions that are seemingly easier but at the end of the day they're going to bring you back into bondage and the challenge is, is to stay on the narrow path as much as possible. So in this narrow path, you're going to feel like the world is overlooking you, that you have been completely forgotten and you're being rejected. And to be honest with you, some of that is true, but that is okay because Jesus saw you. God saw you. He saw every tear. He saw every pain that you were going through. He saw every broken piece in your life and he still chose you. And he called you out of the darkness into the light. So again, I can share my testimony about just being plucked out of the darkness, being sanctified completely. And of course, sanctification is a process that is a lifetime, but that gave me strength and knowledge and understanding that there was still something left for me. I thought for a moment that there would be nothing left for me, but I was chosen for such a time as this and so are you. So as a woman called to impact the world, I know what it feels like to carry the mantle of grace. So sometimes when we carry the mantle of grace, we are going to be overlooked by the world, but you have to put your faith and knowledge in the understanding that God has you. And in my book, The Beautified Life Matrix, we really go into this topic of what it means to be a woman and with God. So really stepping into your femininity um, within the kingdom of God, and then also understanding the other topics of faith and purpose while building a business that's aligned with your divine calling. Now I wanna bring up another scripture and it is 1 Peter 2, 9, and it says, but you are a chosen people a royal priesthood and a holy nation God's special possession now that in and of itself tells us we are a chosen people we are a royal priesthood and a holy nation so if you've been plucked out and you have been chosen by God to be in his kingdom that means that you have a specific role in the kingdom to carry out it doesn't matter how big or small it is it doesn't matter how big you think the impact is just know that if jesus chose you and that is one person this one person can make such a big impact in the world and i know that if you're watching this and you're continuing to watch this that there is such a beautiful gift waiting for you on the other side of your curiosity and also your sadness in your heart that you're feeling oh gosh like i just i i don't know if this is for me it is for you because it means you have a sacred purpose. You weren't just called to exist. You weren't just called to be in the world, to have a regular job and to, you know, just go about your daily life. And 
to be honest, it's okay because there are seasons for that, but you are called to lead, you are called to shine, and you are called to rise above because God qualified you for a unique mis mission. This is why I'm passionate about my Vision to Victory coaching container. So this is a program, it's nine weeks long, and I've designed it specifically to empower women to launch and grow successful businesses that reflect their God-given purpose. So even if you don't know what your God-given purpose is, in my free training below when you sign up, I actually give you three main tips on how to get yourself into that space of clarity and vision with God. And so please check that out if you're unsure of what your purpose is, but you know that you're chosen. Also with my vision to victory container, this is really about understanding that if you are a chosen one, that means that the victory has already been won. Now, once you receive that vision after doing the three steps in my free training and the Lord has put something in your heart and in your mind, that means that that vision has already been written in the books of heavens, which means that the victory has already been won. But this process of going through it, there's so much spiritual warfare. There are things that happen in the process of building your own business, especially when it's aligned with your God-given purpose. And for me personally, I have gone through much spiritual warfare during this time of building my own business and getting to that place of full launch. But I know that if you are struggling with that, this is something that this particular program is going to help you because you are meant to flourish and to be the one who walks in that victory that God has for you so that you can impact the lives of others, bring more people into the kingdom and flourish his promise. So today I challenge you, don't shrink back. Step into your gift, don't question your worth. Step boldly into the understanding that you are the one God has chosen for this moment in history. Your life is a testimony of his power, his grace, and his redemption. God didn't make a mistake when he chose you. He equips you with what you need as you step boldly into your purpose, okay? So I encourage you today to step into your purpose, walk into the fullness of what God has called you to be because you are the one. Hallelujah. Praise God. I send a blessing over to you through this video in the mighty name of Jesus. I hope that this touched your heart. If you believe that it has touched you and you believe that there are other people that this video can touch please share it with a sister hit that like button add some comments in there tell me what you were inspired by tell me what you're working on so i can help you succeed and just make sure that you sign up for that free ebook that free training because it's going to get you to that next place in your god-given purpose mission and vision for your life and so I will see you next time on my next video. God bless you and take care.